In 2020, boat sales reached a 13-year high, corresponding with a higher number of people looking to get outside and enjoy recreational activities. Ahead of the 2021 boating season, keeping basic safety tips in mind can go a long way toward protecting yourself, your boat, and your wallet. Joining us now to discuss is world-renowned yacht captain Sandy Yawn. Welcome, Captain Sandy. Thank you for having me. Thanks so much. You know, I grew up in Portland, Oregon, and we had a sailboat. So I did a little boating with my dad. I was his first mate a lot of the time. So I love to be uh, on the open waters. And I know that this is something that we do have to concern ourselves in, even in our part of California here in the Coachella Valley. So tell us why boating safety is so important, and especially now. You know, especially now because there's so many bo more boats on the water and we have a lot of wild weather. Um, I love that you went boating and you've <laughs> had that experience. You know, also the other reason is, is we want to go out and have fun, not have a disaster happen. No one get hurt and come back and go and tell all these stories and just create that history together. So what I'm going to share with you is some safety boating tips. What to do when you get a new boat and before you leave the dock. That's fantastic. And what are some of the most, uh, you know, common boating blunders, if you will? Uh, the common ones are people forget that boats don't have brakes and they forget to practice things. So I encourage people just like they learned how to parallel park their car before they got their driver's license, that they get in their boat, they make it fun and they practice going on and off the dock. So when they come back in with all their friends on board or their family, they're not going to crash the dock and start yelling at each other. You know, slow is pro. Remember that. Approach it slowly. But before you leave the dock, make sure that you have all your inspections. You know, according to Traveler's Insurance, 11% of these inspections are ignored, and that's part of the insurance claims. You know, also think about how many people are on board, what is the safe number, Make sure you have life jackets, that your fire extinguishers are inspected and up to date, and also that your engines are maintained, your fuel filters are changed because fuel is a big reason boats don't start. So you want clean fuel filters. Make sure you have clean fuel and fuel filters. And also before you leave the dock with all your alcohol on board, make sure that someone stays sober that can get you back to the dock and plenty of water. Also have another cooler full of water to hydrate because you're going to be dehydrated in the sun and drinking that alcohol. Sunblock too. Those are fabulous tips. I like that. Slow like a pro. That's a, <laughs> that's a great tip. And what can boat yeah. owners know to actually protect the safety of their vessels too? That's so crucial. Yeah, you know, honestly, um, everybody thinks they're the only ones on the water, including me. <laughs> you have to make sure that you're aware of other people around you anchoring so when you have that wild weather come up find a always have a go-to if something happens like if you know what a storm's approaching you can't get back to the dock find a safe harbor or a safe anchorage and secure your anchor so also practice on how to drop your anchor and to make your anchor hold so you want to practice that and how to haul your anchor back up because sometimes there are those situations where you need to get that anchor up fast Great, great tips. Thanks so much, boy. You make me want to get back out on those waters again. <laughs> uh, where can yeah. our viewers go for more information? You know, for more information and also for insurance, and I encourage everyone to get insurance on their vessel, go to travelers.com slash boat. Great, great. Good to know. Well, happy seas to you, Captain Sandy. Love talking to you. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you.